Today we are in chapter 25 of 2 Kings. This is the last chapter of this book and sadly, the last time we see Israel as its own sovereign nation for the next 2,000 years. We see so much happening in this chapter. We see here that Jerusalem is besieged by King Nebuchadnezzar and his army. There's famine, death, and disease. And at this point, Jerusalem is done for. God has already said that his people will be in exile in Babylon for the next 70 years. But God tries to give one last olive branch to King Zedekiah through his prophet Jeremiah. This is what it says in Jeremiah 38, 17. Then Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, This is what the Lord God of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. If you surrender to the Babylonian officers, you and your family will live, and the city will not be burned down. But if you refuse to surrender, you will not escape. The city will be handed over to the Babylonians and they will burn it to the ground. And again, we see King Zedekiah refuse to listen. He would not humble himself, and he brings destruction to his family, himself, and the city of Jerusalem. This also shows us that our disobedience and sin not only affects us, but the people around us. See, it tells us in 2 Kings 25 that they killed his sons in front of him, and then they cut out King Zedekiah's eyes the Babylonians then burned down Jerusalem and tore down the temple that Solomon had built. See, I know we want to say, how can this happen to God's people? Why would God allow this to happen? But God has been sending prophet after prophet to his people, trying to get them to repent. Jeremiah begged the king to turn to God and not do things his way. God had to get the attention of Israel and King Zedekiah. See, I heard someone say once, God cares more about your character than your comfort. So many times in our own lives, God will use His Word, His Spirit, or His people to speak to you. And sometimes we can be like the kings of Judah, refuse to listen and, remove, and not remove the sin that we are holding on to. See, God will use situations and circumstances to get our attention and to bring us back into alignment with Him. Okay, one last thing I would like for you to see here. When they finally chased down and catch King Zedekiah, it was in the valley of Jericho. See, we see here that the final battle as a sovereign nation for the next 2,000 years happens in the same valley that Israel had its first victory after entering the Promised Land. The place of your greatest victories can be the place where you have your greatest losses if you do not follow God's plan and decide to live your own way. But most importantly, I want you to know today that God is a God of restoration. On May 14, 1948, Israel once again became a sovereign nation. See, God has a plan for your life, but it's up to you and me to follow. His plans are not our own. If you have experienced loss, allow God to heal that. He can restore the years the locusts have eaten. God bless you today and all that you do for His glory.